Today, we're going to learn all about ants. <gasps> oh, it's about time. Thank goodness. What do you mean, Gus? My Aunt Millie and Aunt Barbara have been asking for years for us to make a video all about them, all about ants and uncles. Not those ants, Gus. <gasps> the insect ants. Oh, uh, okay. Well, then who's going to tell Aunt Millie then? Because it's sure not going to be me. There are about 20,000 different species of ants, and ants can be found on every single continent except Antarctica. Hey, guess what? Did you know that ants live in enormous colonies called a formicary? And these colonies have millions of ants living in them. Imagine trying to find a place to sleep at night. Wow, that would be hard. Each ant colony has three different types of ants. There is the queen who runs the entire colony. For her entire life, all she does is continues to lay eggs. <gasps> I think I know what she looks like. What? She looks like those white birds at the farm. Look out! Look out! <laughs> so when the queen ant dies, the whole colony dies too. The second type of ant are the males, also called drones. Male ants are much smaller than the females and also have longer antennae. Male ants have wings and their only job is to mate with the queen. And once they mate with the queen, they die a week or two later. The third type of ant is a female worker. They find food, take care of the eggs, tend to the babies or larvae, as well as build the ant hill, repair the nest, and even act as soldier ants. Soldier ants protect the colony and will even attack other ant colonies. And we mentioned one of these a moment ago. But the ant life cycle has four stages of development. The egg, larva, pupa, and adult. The queen lays the eggs, <coughs> which will hatch into larvae in a few days. The larvae are just like babies and are fed and cleaned by the worker ants until they pass through the pupal stage. This is kind of like a teenager ant. A week or so later, the adult ant will emerge and the metamorphosis. I think you mean metamorphosis. <laughs> metamorphosis is finished. She got her! Ah. Most ants build a type of mound or anthill that they live in. Most mounds are built of dirt or sand, but some really smart ants use twigs to make them even stronger. And if I had arms, I'd flex, but I can't, so I'll just make this face. Other ants live in logs or trees that have fallen down. You got something in your teeth. Carpenter ants build nests in logs or even houses. Where do they keep their hammers? Hammers? Carpenter ants, hello. These carpenter ants actually don't use hammers, Gus. They chew through wood to make nests, which can also cause damage to houses. An ant's home is really neat. Okay, hold on. Can I ask you a question? Yes. When you say that an ant's home is really neat, do you mean really sophisticated or very clean? Sophisticated. Oh, what did you say again? <laughs> sophisticated. Oh, sophisticated. Okay, perfect. <laughs> They have many different tunnels that connect all the rooms or chambers together. Some of these sophisticated chambers are used to store food, while some are used to look after little baby ants. It's kind of like an ant nursery school. <laughs> so you might be wondering, what is the body of an ant made up of? Most ants are black or red. But some species are green or look almost metallic. Like what? They carry guitars and bang their heads? Roar! An ant's body has three parts. The head, the trunk, and the metasoma, 
which is the rear of the ant. An ant's body is covered with a tough armor called the exoskeleton. Ants also have six legs that are all attached to their trunk. Ants have amazing vision because they've got many different lenses in their actual eyes. And ants do not have ears. Instead, they feel vibrations from the ground through their feet. Ants also have antennae, which also let them hear, taste, touch, and smell. They also use their antennae to touch one another and talk to each other in their ant language. Ants have a pair of large, strong jaws on their head that open and shut sideways like a pair of scissors. Ants cannot chew and swallow solid food like we do. So ants swallow the juice by squeezing pieces of their food. Then they toss the dry part away and look for something else tasty to eat. Hey, guess what? Did you know that ants don't have lungs? They actually breathe through tiny little holes that cover their body. When ant colonies need to move, find some food, or sense there is danger nearby, they leave a special trail that has a scent called pheromones so other ants in their colony can follow. Ants have lived on Earth for more than 100 million years. Wow. Now that may be a long time, but a single ant only lives for about 45 to 60 days. Hey, guess what? Ants can carry up to 20 times their own body weight. That's like you trying to pick up a car and carry it to school. Hey, take a look at the people near you or in your classroom, because this next fact is really cool. Did you know that there are one million ants for every human in the world? Wow. Hey, guess what? Did you know that ants never sleep? They spend their entire life awake and working on whatever task they have to complete. Ants can bite as well as sting, and some ants can really hurt you, like fire ants and ants in other parts of the world. But don't be too afraid. If you see an ant running around, let it do its thing. You never know. It could be simply bringing back something needed for the huge colony it lives in. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about ants. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out your channel. Sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.